everybody. Hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to meet up with some fellow YouTubers from California that used to live in Hawaii. Uh, it's Stephen Young from Epicurean Road. We're going to go to Straits. It's a kind of newer restaurant in the Ward Kaka'ako area right below Dave & Buster's and the theaters. So if you're wondering what it is, it's Singaporean food but it's kind of high end, so it's gonna be expensive. Already kind of looked at the menu and it kind of like, wows me in a not so good way. So I hope it's good, but we'll let you know. And um, it's all about the experience and letting you guys know what it's about so that you don't have to spend your money. If you just watch my videos, that lets me uh, have the opportunity to do these things. So let's go check it out. On a weekend, today is a Saturday, it's super crowded, obviously, because of the theater and all the restaurants around here. So you can either park by the TJ Maxx parking lot. We just parked by the Whole Foods one. They're all shared by Ward, so it's um, fine to park there. I always do this walk. Why? Here we are. So I'm here with Steve and Young from Epicurean Road. Hello, Steve. Hi. And Young, hi. hi. And um, we're gonna go eat some Singaporean food, right? Yeah, we're, yeah. we're, we're pretty excited. Uh, Young and I have been watching Missy's channel since about the time she started. And she started watching ours around yeah. the same time. And, and so, it's so cool because you guys travel the world and stuff. It's so much fun. Yeah, and yeah. We're always like conversing back and forth. Yeah, over time. that's cool. It's kind of a fun thing to do. Nice. Oh my god. So that's Young's, um, what is that? Your lychee mon martini. That's like so fancy. Oh, that's and that's the milk and honey. Yeah, this is got a milk and honey. She said this is a clarified milk punch. Oh, and it's got the nice rose yeah, ice cube very in there. Pretty. Wow. You know, over at Asian last night they had a honey bear in the, in the ice cube. Oh yeah, that's what I got. Yeah. And then I got the uh, boring house wine. <laughs> so we have our. Roti Parata, that's uh, one of the Indian flatbreads with a coconut curry sauce. And then the Straits Fries, which uh, smell like garlic and it's got like um, creamy sauce, mayo and ketchup. Right, so I'm going to try this Roti Parata. Is it? Some curry sauce. Mmm. That's really good curry sauce. <laughs> it's kind of spicy. It is quite spicy. It is spicy. I think it's spicy. It's really flaky and crispy. Layer it. Yeah. It's almost like a phyllo dough, like how they layer it, huh? Yeah. So we got our Hainan chicken. And it comes with a broth. That looks really good. And then Steve got the laksa. Yeah. How is it? Uh, it's good. I actually did some research before that looks I really came pretty. here. And they said their laksa is good, their roti prata is good, and their chili crab is good. Except we had chili crab last night, so I wasn't going to get it again. Okay. All right. I'm going to try the fries and dip it in their ketchup. It's not spicy, but they're really spicy. Hmm. The ketchup's like an interesting flavor in a good way. It's not regular ketchup. It's got a sweetness to it. But they also have a mayonnaise sauce. So I'll try that. Um, that's good too. It's very bright and lemony. I really like that one. The mayo is probably the best sauce. All right, I'm going to try the Hainan chicken. It's a poached chicken and it's got different sauces. Like it's got a soy type sauce, but I put the hot sauce on there. Mm. It's really moist and flavorful. It's really good. Comes with this rice that is cooked in the broth of the chicken that they boiled. That's really good. It's pretty flavorful, but it's very delicate. Not too strong tasting of flavors but still got flavor. I don't know how to explain it, but very gentle. All right, I'm gonna try the soup from Steve's Laksa. Ooh, not so good. It's very seafoody, spicy, coconutty. 
That's really good. All right. It's expensive here, but it, it tastes good. Everything's great. All right, I'm gonna try this Fruto. This is really pretty. It's like scallops that are um, sliced really thin. It's got like edible flowers on there too. Mm. Oh yeah, that's like really garlicky. You'd like it, Young. I'll give you some. Okay. <laughs> and then the Hainan chicken also comes with some broth. So let's try this. Ooh, that's nice. That broth is like, I guess the broth that they boil the chicken in. So it's really gentle tasting, but flavorful as well. Just that natural chicken flavor. It's really nice. This crudo also has some roasted corn on there. Mm. Super sweet. So it's like sweet, garlicky. Also got some salmon roe on there. What kind of flavor is going on? Really interesting. So I'm trying Young's um, fish. Yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna try it. But you got sambal, which makes it more spicy, but I'll try it without first. <laughs> Mm. That's good. It's crispy, but soft inside. Yeah. And it's kind of like a, I don't know, it's sweet and sour, but it's not, right? Mm -hmm. It's kind of, but quite different. I've never tasted something like that. It's really good. Really delicious. Tasty. Look at the house. Look at that. This is the best part. Every fish has this color. This is the best part of each fish. You have to eat this one. That's the cheek, right? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah it's the best part. Mm -hmm. That is the best part, is the cheek. Mm -hmm. Like um, Hamachi Kama uh -huh. at J Japanese restaurants, right? All right, so our dessert came out. It is a Panzan soft serve ice cream with a cherry on top. Wow. It's very nutty. It's got nuts on top. Mmm. Yeah. Lychee, lychee, and some jellies and cherries. Yeah, it's got cheese. Good. It's got jellies. Lychee. This is the only dessert they offer. So there's no big dessert menu. So, um, it's very interesting. And it's very colorful as you can see purples and greens and the roasted nuts are really delicious. The ice cream was amazingly tasty. It's hand in and and the purple, so I'm pretty sure it's got ube in it. And it's a soft serve ice cream. It had lychees, it had cherries, it had nondescript jellies in it. It was very interesting. Um, very tasty, very sweet right up my alley. I love sweets and this definitely is worth it. It was good. I liked the ice cream. It was pretty good. As you can see, we uh, demolished it. It's pretty much melted ice cream. But this guy just keeps going around and around from the sugar of the ice cream. So it must have been good, right? Okay, sir. What do you think about the food here at Straits? I actually liked it. I thought, you know, my soup was a little bit spicy, but it was real. I liked the taste of it. it really flavorful, a little sweet, a little creamy, very spicy. The roti parata was amazing, really good with the curry sauce and the spicy curry sauce. I thought that was delicious. I, I think um, my favorites were the roti parata too. I agree with you. Yeah. That curry sauce was really good. Amazing. And it was a little bit spicy yeah. to me, but yeah. not enough to be like off-putting. No. Just enough. Yeah. And it had that coconut curry taste. Yes. And then um, Young's fish was good as well. I know you don't like so fish. Good. It was good. And then the fries, even though you wouldn't think fries are Singaporean, it's very garlicky and I like the mayo. It's got a lot of lemon in there. Uh -huh. And the Hainan chicken was good as well. Oh, but, I liked that a lot. Yeah, that I was good. That was really good. Really flavorful. And I think my second favorite, so the first would be the roti and then the scallop crudo. That was really, really good. Oh, so um, everything was really good. Especially I ordered this fish and uh, it was not really spicy, but sauce was very good. 
and everything I taste is wonderful. I love the French fry, it's very garlicky. And I haven't really tasted the chicken. That's not really my favorite. It's okay, not spicy, it's very bland. So. But then I was very surprised and the steam, the water. Uh, yeah, that was really good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is wonderful time, especially Misty was here and it especially was wonderful, very enjoyable time and I really liked it. I definitely come back here. Generally, I thought everything was good. The Hainan chicken was really good. You know, that's actually from southern China and uh, it made its way to Singapore. It's become a Singaporean classic and it, is, it was delicious. It was, they poach it in ginger, garlic and pandan leaves and uh, I think uh, Misty Sun thought it was a little raw tasting. I thought it was that's because it's it's more more like a cold ginger chicken, except it was warm. I love you. Yeah, the laksa noodles was delicious. I thought everything was really good. I really enjoyed the dinner. Um, definitely, it's a pricier dinner for Hawaii, but they do say it's worth it, and I kind of agree with them. Don't you? I do agree. Yeah. I. Um, you know, it is really expensive. I think the most expensive thing on the menu is 82 bucks. That's the crab noodles. And I'm just like, hell no, I'm sorry. You want a bowl I don't make that much money on bucks? YouTube. Come over here. Yeah. Yeah. You need to subscribe more for that. <laughs> but yeah. um, maybe one day. But um, now that we know the food's good, yeah. I would be willing to try to fork out 82 bucks to try it. Yeah, Because we weren't would sure too. walking in here what it was going to be like. Yeah. But I would definitely try um, if you want to try something new, Singaporean food's really good. I mean, I've never had it before, so I, I enjoyed it. And if we didn't try the crab, uh, the chili crab last night at, at Yixing, we would have tried it here because I understand it's very good here. Yeah, so definitely try it out if you have the money to fork out for the crab noodles. It's a full, it looks like a full Dungeness crab or something in the picture, so you're getting a full crab. And if not, save up. Yeah, save up your money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I would like to thank um, Stephen Young for joining me today and asking me to come out. I didn't know you were here for a vacation. Yeah. So um, I enjoy your uh, show, Epicurean Road. Go check out their channel. Um, it's on YouTube. I'll put the link in the description box um, so you can go subscribe to their channel. They travel all over the world and taste different things that um, other people can't. So if you're interested in looking at places around the world that you can't travel to and see the different foods and cultures, check out their channel. And we've been fans of Misty's channel, Food Fiend, for a long time. And so as long as we were coming out here, we said, let's get together, let's do a video. We'd have a good time. I love I'm so channel. glad you, yeah, Young loves <laughs> the channel. You. She watches it all the Thanks time. Thanks so much, I love your channel too. Except it's, for that one up in the North Shore where you had the chickens running around all the place. She didn't like that one too much. Oh, you don't but, like the chickens. <laughs> she didn't like the chickens, the, the Velocirooster. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I need to get my BB gun down the street. Yeah. But um, thank you for joining me. And um, if you like this, subscribe and like the, the uh, video. And I'll see you again next week. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you Stephen Young. Yeah. yeah.